My beans! Ivy girl, our beans are ready to harvest. Oh my goodness, look at all of them. <laughs> there are so many. Oh, this is so exciting. We have crop PhD title. Oh, that's adorable. All right, we're gonna have to go ahead and see what crop PhD title entitles. Ha <laughs> ha. When we go up to appraise all of these items at the museum later. But you guys, this is so exciting. Not only that, but look, our potatoes are ready too. Oh, Ivy, this has been a very busy day. Oh gosh, and now we've scared away the adorable little birds, but that's okay. They were just a little excited for us since we have managed to get some new crops going. Ah, oh, wonderful. That'll actually maybe help us with being able to get a bit more money so we can start making more progress and a few things that we need to make the farm even better. But otherwise, we've got ourselves a gigantic pile of beans. We have got several potatoes and I've got a huge smile on my face. Oh my goodness, you guys. Oh, hello, 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 and welcome back to Mossley Farm here in Olive Town, where Ivy and I were just getting a little bit of work out of the way before we went ahead and uh, possibly headed into town today to potentially get ourselves another piece another poultry i'm thinking we might actually adopt a sibling for henrietta today i really think it's about time she deserves to be able to have more members in her flock and henrietta there she goes all right we'll go ahead and collect her daily egg Let's go ahead and see our little journal on how she's doing. Friendship is almost maxed out and happiness is almost halfway there. She's a very serious hen hen, but I love her with all my heart and I think she's wonderful. And you know what? I, I think getting another hen today is a great way not only to go ahead and give Henrietta something, you know, some companions in the treetop nest coop, but also to possibly celebrate the upcoming egg festival because tomorrow will be the egg festival. What better way to celebrate other than getting another hen? And even though we probably could plant so many more crops, I'm just really feeling like celebrating with eggs. So why not, you know? And let's come down and we're actually going to let out our wonderful Bluebell so that she can do a little bit of grazing too. <gasps> Bluebell, you've got milk for us? Thank you! Holy cow! Like, literally, holy cow, I suppose. <laughs> All right, and we apparently have, like, no more space for being able to, um, huh, for being able to take that milk from her. You know what, guys? I'm beginning to think it's time to get ourselves another tool bag. Since everything can have different values of quality, there's actually a lot more items than you would assume to collect because, like, every egg could have different values. Every fish, like the eel that we have in our pockets and definitely need to be taking on over to give to the museum, could actually have a different value to it. So, huh, that, that, does, that does make things a little bit more complicated. All right, but let's go ahead and put that away. You know what? I'm willing to harvest up our pansies too. I wonder, should we go ahead and sell these pansies or should we give them as gifts to some of the villagers? A familiar flower with a classic brown and gold pattern. Oh, yeah, I wanna keep it, but we're like out of room to keep anything. <laughs> oh my gosh. We have a whole bunch of rocks now. We have some white opals that I've just kind of been saving. Maybe it'd be worth it to sell the white opals. I hate to do it, but you know what, guys? I think we should sell the white opals. Because if we do, that's another 250 gold. And that'll get us a little closer to being able to possibly afford a larger rucksack. And a larger rucksack could probably help us out a ton. And 30 beans are only worth 84 gold? What? And two, like four potatoes are only worth 46 gold? Ugh, oh, maybe those are better off as like foods that we could try to prepare. Huh, well let's put them in the fridge and maybe we can make something yummy out of them. All right. Cause I know we can do something fun with beans, Ivy. Let's come on over and see what we've got. Beans, beans, beans. Yeah, here we go. There's a whole bunch of different things we can make with beans. Chestnut, chestnut monaca. Mm. Let's see. Oshiruko. 
Um, hmm, hmm. I could have sworn there were more things we could make with beans that sounded really yummy. And look at all these egg dishes. How fun would it be to be able to make a little egg dish, like a fried egg tomorrow to celebrate the fact that we actually have eggs for the egg festival. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do after all. Oh, and we need milk. And then we can actually make the mellow and warm green pottage. Oh, Bluebell. Okay, we'll hold on to those beans because I think we can definitely use them in the future. And let's go get ourselves another chicken. That's the way we should be celebrating things today, if you ask me. Oh, and, and Ralph. Huh. You know, Ralph actually reminds me of my husband Chips in real life quite a bit. Kind of a hermit living in the woods. He really enjoys, you know, time to himself. And I don't know, maybe I've got a little crush on Ralph if I was gonna have to pick a crush on somebody because he also is determined to like do his job. Unlike Jack here. The egg hunts around the corner and his little sister's looking forward to it. We got a beauty salon, huh? Can't say I see myself stopping by, but I'm happy for those who care. Hi. Hey, Jack. Meanwhile, Jack's like, yeah, general store. And Bridget, how are you? Huh? Hello, Siri. Huh? I'm so glad she remembers my name, at least. I will take that. And then, how are you Ooh. doing today, Patricia? Huh. Just a nice hello, huh? I guess huh. now that we're starting to get to know each other a little bit better. All right, wait, wait, wait. Can I get chicken breeding kit? Oh, okay. I want... How are the chickens today? <gasps> Another serious hen? Oh, their personalities are so different. I kind of wanted, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of wanted a chicken with a different personality, but we're gonna do it. We're going to adopt this, this wonderful chicken who is available today with a serious personality so that she and Henrietta can actually have very serious clucking conversations over in the corner of the farm. I'm sure this is going to turn out perfectly well to match two serious chickens in our treetop nest coop. All right. Oh, this is gonna be so fun. Let's do it. Okay, and what kind of name to go ahead and give her? Well, I wanna give her a name that fits because we have Henrietta, and so I think we're at, like we could do Agatha, Dorothea, Angus. Oh, those would be really good names. Magdalene, Magdalena, hmm, Eugenia, Constance, Tabitha, Helena, Dorothy, Odette, hmm, Cordelia. You know what? I'm really feeling the name. If we're trying to pick a very similar name, of maybe going with Constance. So Constance it is kind of those old-fashioned names. Here we are. Constance. There. <laughs> so now we can have Henrietta and Constance, and they can have very serious conversations in the coop. Let's do it! Yay! All right! So now we have two hen hens! Before I go ahead and get myself distracted running all around town, I think we should go ahead and visit with Constance and see if she and Henrietta are going to be able to, you know, just relax, get along, explore the yard together. And I think that Ivy, and if you're not here for the roleplay, not sure why you're here, but I think that Ivy really loves it when we actually get new animals on the farm because it makes her feel like her family is growing bigger and that's something she really, really wants. And she's just like constantly trying to go and and like herd the little the little squirrels. Wouldn't that be so cute? Alright, and here we go! Constance, welcome! Welcome! Oh, this is gonna be so fun, you guys. We have two chickens now. Okay, I love hen hens, so this is absolutely delightful for me. Meanwhile, we'll go ahead and get another silver ingot started just so that we've got that covered and now we'll do a little bit of shopping really quickly to make sure that we have got the um delightful seeds that i can afford with what we have left over and then we'll go up and we will visit the museum again to appraise more of the mystery objects that i dug up out of the mine and actually you guys know how much i love getting mystery objects out of mine so i'm really happy about that I love the randomness. <laughs> Morning, Angela. How are you today? Just one more push and we'll have made it through this day. 
<laughs> you know, considering ah. Jack is like, yeah, I'm totally motivated. Absolutely gonna help out at the general store. And then he's just like, ah, I don't do anything. I could see how she could get a little tired trying to keep up with all that. Alright, some of the best seeds we've had so far, and the best return on results, I think, has actually been the onion seeds. But apparently she expanded her stock recently in something. But I don't know what yet. So let's actually buy... We could do three onion seeds and then one turnip. Why are they so expensive? <laughs> I really hope I can have a seed maker at some point in the future. All right, meanwhile... Oh, the coal lump! So she now sells coal! A stone that'll leave your hands pitch black if you touch it. With some special techniques, it can be processed into pure coal. Oh, wow. I guess you have to, like, process the coal, too. Oh, jeez, there's so many things that are gonna need makers. The egg hunt can't come soon enough. I hope you take a liking to this town. Um, give me a second. It was... Ah, yes, Siri. Names are getting harder to keep in your head the older you are. Oh, there, there, Jesse. Maybe if I bring them some, like, egg dishes. I want to get enough. That's our goal, Ivy. Is to get our little happy family of animals and the wildlife on the farm large enough that we're actually able to share dishes with people, to make food. I wouldn't have to, like, defend and guard. Jack, go help your mom. Hi. Jack, I'm doing work. Hi. You should go help your mom. Just saying. Oh, hey. Mm. I worry. The day of the egg hunt approaches. Perhaps we could enjoy it together? That's very polite. You're the mm. first person to invite me to the festival, technically. I was once very taken with the top knot style. It was quite prevalent in my hometown back in the olden days. Just how old are you? <laughs> yep, egg hunt every year around this time. You ride a motorcycle, right? I heard about it from the mayor. Your brother's literally fixing it in the front, like, room of your shop, dude. Alright. And then this kid again, Damon. The mayor has been so over the moon about the egg hunt. I'm worried he'll never come back down to earth. Huh. We've got a new beauty salon, huh? My mom and sister will be all over that. Aw, oh, Damon, you care about your family. That's so sweet. What's going on here? I look forward to this egg hunt festival. Word reaches my ears that Lady Karina has set up a shop. What auspicious news. <laughs> oh my goodness. Very formal styles of speech coming from you two, eh? All right, all right. Let's see what's going on here in these uh, these old town requests. A velvet shrimp. Angela, I might be able to pull that off for you. Oh, look at that! <gasps> Nine potato seeds! Oh, I will take those free potatoes. And then what is this? Is that legitimately a, another ore maker for free? Or like an ingot maker for free? Boom! Very happy about that. We've got a little bit of money coming- oh. Well, I was gonna say we've got a little bit of money coming to us. Now that we can turn in these metals too, so maybe I will be able to buy an expansion for my bag soon. Yay! Alright, let's go get these appraised at the museum. Drop off these fish. Come on, Ivy! Maybe say hello to Ralph and see if he has anything new to say? Potentially? Maybe? Possibly? All right, appraisals, appraisals. Oh. Here you go, Rania. I wrangled it from the paws of a very angry, oh yay, oh. silver ore. From a very angry little mole. Let's see. <gasps> a cave pearl? Okay, that sounds like an absolute treasure. A treasure that was made in the depths of a cavern. It can be placed on a countertop in your house or donated to the museum. Yay, Aww. we finally have a unique treasure from all of the, the mining we've been doing, guys. How cool is that? Another cave Aww. pearl so I can keep one for myself or give it to somebody. And an iron ore. Hello. Oh, fantastic. All right, let's go ahead and donate this fish. Apparently, I've already donated one of the other fish, and I just forgot. All right, come on, little eel. We're gonna stick you right in here. That doesn't look anything like an eel. We'll use our imaginations for a lot of how the uh, little museum Hello. works. And then let's go ahead and donate the treasure of a cave pearl. Just one. And hopefully, slowly but surely, filling out this stuff that really the villagers could probably find if they actually went exploring their own area themselves. 
Oh, that's a pretty pearl on the little beautiful silk pillow. Yay! All right, hopefully that really will help the town develop. Meanwhile, Olivia, I hope you look forward to the egg hunt. And Rania? Wow. Yep, egg hunt. Wow. Did you know if you drain the water out of a pond, the open space will get filled up with dirt after a few days and turn into plain old land? Huh. That's actually really helpful, Rania. Thank you. And Beth, how are you doing today? Uh, oh. um, um, Just a little shy hello about the egg hunt? Okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. I understand. Ah. <sighs> All right, guys. Well, we have ourselves a brand new chicken. That is definitely something to celebrate. Is Ralph inside? He is indeed inside the officer or the ranger station. So let's say hello. I hope we can do something to like expand up north soon. Hello. Most tourists come to the forest around this time, so I have to be vigilant if I want to ensure their safety. Hello. All right. I think he's he's telling me he's busy. He's a busy man. He's got things to do. Alright. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! And this time she's really gotten herself good and stuck. Come on, Ivy! I think Ivy likes Ralph, you guys. That's how we're gonna interpret this. Is that Ivy really, really likes Ralph. And very much... Ivy! I love you too, Ivy. But oh my gosh. <sighs> oh, we're gonna go ahead and say that Ivy really, really, really likes Ralph. And wants to spend more time with him. But for now... We're gonna have to stop the walk for just a second because otherwise I can't get out of here. <laughs> oh, there. All right, well, we've got some more silver ore. I think the next thing I really, really, really wanna do is upgrade my bag so that I've got a bit more room to roam. And more room to, you know, stuff in all of the amazing little things that we're finding all over the farm. But the egg festival is actually going to be coming up tomorrow, so huh. I wonder, I wonder how... And we'll get Ivy back out and give her a little treat. Ivy! There you are, girl! Come on! Oh, that's so cool! You can actually see when the, the leash is on her. Because it gives her a little collar. I hadn't noticed that before. Oh, so cute! Good girl! And you know what? I'm going to actually let her go ahead and roam around the farm. Because I think that would be really cute. Alright, Ivy? Be free! And she will apparently just like roam around our little farm now, which is perfect for her. Alright, I've got so many potatoes to plant. That should work out great. And let's see, is my little treasure going to have been worth it, friends? 60 gold! Not bad! I possibly could get a lot further if I was just going ahead and fishing. But you know what? I'm proud of what we're able to accomplish. And we're gonna get 2,000 gold from everything that we're selling too. So yay! All right, I'd call that progress. <laughs> but all right, guys. Oh, I spooked the little squirrel again. Oh dear. Whoops. <laughs> all right, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and get these things planted and then figure out my next step in our grand journey of doing our best to try to make this into a really successful and thriving little farm that also serves as a food forest. So hopefully we'll be able to serve the animals of the area too and make them pretty happy. You know, I want to I wanna make it so that we can really take care of trying to make this place a place that nature can thrive alongside our little farm. So I'm going to get this all tended to. And then when we come back next time, we're going to prepare for the egg festival, which I'm pretty excited, egg excited to see. Especially now that we are celebrating a, another new arrival to our farm. <gasps> In fact, I should go ahead and take a picture of her, shouldn't I? Oh, let's get out the camera. I'm also going to need to cut down this little, this little itty bitty sapling. It's definitely in the way. All right, let's come over this way. There we are. And let's find Constance. <gasps> there she is. And now she and our beloved Henrietta can go ahead and these two can cluck all day long about the serious matters that two absolutely delightful little hen hens would totally want to focus on. All right. Oh, she's so cute. So cute. We got Bogo hen hens. Bogo hen in action. Oh, yes. Oh, no, I think both of them. <laughs> Both of their faces are hiding. <laughs> okay, I think the hens might be like, all right, first order of the the 
pecking, pecking order business. Discuss the matter of the abundance of weeds on the farm. Hmm. All right, all right. I, I can see, I can see where this might be a little bit excessive. Just saying. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining us on this adventure. If you guys could, do please consider subscribing to join us on this and literally thousands more. Leave a like for Constance and uh, the newest arrival of our hens on our farm. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. I think I already said that. Sorry. <laughs> and most importantly, friends, stay curious. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.